All right, so I'm down here at my local guitar shop here in Alpharetta, Georgia, Righteous Guitars. In today's video, we're gonna kind of follow up a video I made about a year and a half ago called Finding the Perfect Acoustic Guitar. In that video, we kind of went over some of the things to look for when you're in the market for an acoustic guitar because, I mean, if you just look at the number of acoustics here, it can be kind of an overwhelming thing. Now today, we've got something interesting going on. One of my best friends and artists I've been playing for for 10 years at this point, Noah Guthrie, is in town, and he's here to kind of kick the tires on a few new acoustics. And so what we're gonna do in today's video is get with Ben and talk about the different things to look for a little bit more in depth to help you find the right acoustic guitar. Whether you're looking to spend $300 on an acoustic or 15,000 on an acoustic, there's a few things to really dig in and try out and look for to find the right guitar for you. Whether you're a vocalist and you need something that's gonna complement your vocals, or you're someone more like me who accompanies vocalists a lot, the differences in body shape and construction and wood type are all really important things to look for when you're in the market for the right acoustics. So we're gonna jump over, talk to Ben and Noah and start playing some guitars. All right, what are we, uh, what are we starting with here? Okay. Oh, by the way, what, uh, what happened? Well, it's a long story, but not really. Um, I was trying to park a golf cart and I kind of bumped into a wall. <laughs> all right, I was hoping you would have prepared something a little cooler than that uh, for the video, uh, but. Yeah. All right, so we got a lot of acoustics to choose from today. We do. What yes. are we? Uh, what are we going to start with here? With acoustics, you've uh, really three things to think about: um, the top wood, the back and sides, and the body sides. Right. So, if you take any of these guitars and just look at the color of the wood, most of the time that can give you an indication of the EQ of the guitar, which that's what the back and sides determines. So we think about treble, middle, bass, like on your stereo, right? Uh, and you take a light-colored guitar, treble is up middle's about here and bass is pushed back a little bit so it's going to have nicer top end a lot of times and lower bass response next you take all your medium colored woods now all of those guitars are going to typically have more of a flat response so treble mid-range bass pretty equal okay then you take your darker color woods and you're usually going to get more of a kick up in the bass kick up in the treble and a scooped mid-range and what i'm predicting for noah because he sings by having that mid-range scoop I think we can put a nice place for his voice to sit so it won't be interrupted by the mid-range of the guitar. The next thing are top woods. Almost all of them are spruce. So if you were going to a typical guitar store and just look down the wall, all these white and yellowish colored tops are spruce of some variety, almost every one of them. Uh, and then the last thing to think about is the body size. So you have anything from little bitty guitars, like these are little parlor style guitars, to double O's, triple O's, so forth and so on. The smaller the guitar is, the better treble response it'll have and the less power it will take to move the body, right? The bigger it is, the harder you'll have to hit it, but the more volume and more bass it will have. So, for someone like Noah, where should we uh, start? Well, we should start with how, you, how hard you play, like what kind of velocity you play at, which I guess the easiest way to do that would be just grab a guitar and let you play a little bit. Yeah. And then from there we'll go. For sure, let's do it. It's cool, huh? Yeah. So what is that? This is a Gallagher. <laughs> Thank you, I can't really. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, back on this oh, it's one is Coca Bolo. It's actually heavier than I thought it would be, too. Yeah. Oh, I have one Coca Bolo. Yeah, this looks just like my uh, back and sides of my Dreadnought, actually. Um, yeah, so Coca Bolo, oh, and then this is a pretty too. white top. Mm. You know, this? so it's a spruce. So we'll pull up a chair and let you Very play a little pretty. bit on it just so we can yeah. watch how you play. Feels good. Yeah, I mean, I'm somewhere in there. It's you know, okay. it just kind of depends on what so I'm you're doing. You're not but... a super heavy hitter. No, not really. I'm actually. When you asked me that earlier, I was just kind of like, actually, you know what? What am I? <laughs> and I think I am a little more delicate. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also do do quite a bit of finger picking as well. The joke's on you. That was the right guitar, first one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty spot on. <laughs> so one other thing you may want to consider is that all the stuff we talk about when it comes to the wood type uh, on the top and the back, the body size, um, and all of that works inside of a brand. The tailor, no matter what type of tailor you get, has a tailor sound. So if you're looking at um, 
the same brand at different wood types, it will help you kind of narrow down. But bear in mind that different, different manufacturers will have different techniques that will give their guitars an inherent voice. For this uh, comparison, I happen to have uh, three Santa Cruz guitars with the same body style, but the three different types of backwoods we're talking about. So hopefully we can hear the EQ and see how it sits with his voice. This is a absolutely beautiful OM we just got in from Santa Cruz. So it's a crazy bear claw. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty straight ahead rosewood back. So nothing crazy, but it's a really nice cut of Indian rosewood. Isn't that pretty? And then uh, I love the half rope binding is always something I'm a fan of. The little maple binding. Beautiful. Yeah. And the rosette is just it's cool. I'm gonna leave with a broken heart today. You know this this is gonna be terrible. In so many ways with you. <laughs> yeah, it's got the cowboy rope. It's got me. the buttered toast finish. This is really gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. So this is another Santa Cruz, but this is a OMPW uh, custom. It's beautiful. It's got a bear claw top too, so we're kind of staying with that theme. And then it's got mahogany on the back and sides. So sometimes, this is a good example too, this looks darker than it probably really is. So if you want to see the true color of an acoustic guitar, look through the sound hole and you can see it's that tannish color inside. Right. So this guitar will be pretty, pretty balanced uh, overall. It won't have any spikes in any of the frequencies. All right, so this is our third guitar and another example. This guitar is maple. And remember when I was just talking about the color? Right. Back? That does not look white. Look through the sound hole. That's the natural color of the wood in the back right. there. Right, okay. So this is gonna be our spike and treble, cut and bass, pretty flat mid-range guitar. It's a beautiful OM, again, from Santa Cruz. This was another custom build. You can tell we like the cowboy rope binding. Did a matching headstock with no logo on it, which I always think is beautiful. And this gives us three of the kind of uh, guideline guitars. We've got mahogany and spruce, rosewood and spruce, maple and spruce, and they're all the same build, so they should travel, the characteristics should travel like we were talking about. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the three different guitars, and Noah is gonna play one or two of his songs with the three guitars to try and get an idea of how the wood combination fits with his playing style, his vocal style. And what we'll do is actually cut together uh, basically a verse of one of his songs with the three different guitars. So you should be able to hear the exact differences. We got a mic set up in front of him. He's warming up on a song. He actually hasn't played in a while here. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna take Ooh. my jacket off so the zipper doesn't. It's kind of like a, uh... Kind of like a whiskey vibe going on Got here. a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Honey, turn off the news. Cause all it does is break glass. Cut my ears. I don't want to hear it anymore. If you don't want to hear it anymore. I'm taking signals from you. Let's make a getaway fast from no one here. I don't want to be here anymore If you don't want to be here anymore Cause the rain's relentless Or so it seems And all the fighting senseless Turning friends to enemies We're looking for the sunshine Buried in the head I don't know, man. So here's, this what, one's... here's what I'm hearing in front of it, because you're hearing it differently yeah. being on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's w much more articulate in the top end. Yeah. And I thought on that verse that this guitar was gonna fight with the top end of your voice, because mm -hmm. you've got that like airy four or five K kind of thing. Yeah. But it actually doesn't. It stays out of the way of the top end. This one leaves room for your voice, but it is getting a little bit more buried, like when you're digging in. Yeah, and there is more heft to it, though. immediately more body. As yeah. soon as I started playing it, there's just more, it's just fatter overall. But I think if you were choosing yeah. between these two, I, you really couldn't lose. Uh, yeah, either between way. Between either one. I really, I really think the same thing. But, 
There is the first one I handed you. Yeah. Before we did oh anything. yeah, that's true. I did love it. So, same verse. Pretty cool. In a room outside of Reno, in a hazy kind of blue, counting peddlers, slinging pills in between the local news. That mockingbird is laughing, watching me come in loose. I swear tonight It's the last time I'll think of you I don't know, man Yeah, this is I, really I hard think, I This think is a lot winner. harder <laughs> I think that's the winner Because now yeah. you get your top end Yeah It's not as uh, wolfy that, that Gallagher is I think it's like combining The low end and the mid range of this guitar yeah. With the articulation and top end of this guitar Into yeah. one that's When you do that walk up the bottom yeah. Did you hear how the low end is there? Do that on this guitar, and you won't you won't get that same response. Oh my God, we're juggling like twenty five thousand dollars <laughs> worth of No, it's not the same. But the mid range cut on that is le it sounds bigger. Yeah. But it's not interrupting your voice. And this is Sitka spruce. No, I think it's lots. We have to lots. Go but okay, so spruce. It's a and spruce top and Coca Bolo. Coca Bolo back. back, 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 back I'm very back used to Coca Bolo. It's probably. Yeah. One reason I like it so Okay, so how much is that one then? That's the least expensive guitar out of the mix. Oh, that's yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 19,000. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Engelman. Engelman. So what's the first thing it said? Yeah, I never would have guessed. 4,700 bucks. That's oh, still that's an expensive good. guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, look, yeah. The, all the Santa Cruz stuff starts, I think, at seven ish. Right. Okay. So I grabbed the Santa Cruz because we had three different types of woods to play with that, so we could yeah. test the theory with the builder. But, uh, Dude. Dude, that thing rocks. It's cool, right? Yeah. Funny thing is, that was the experiment guitar to see how you played it. It yeah. so good when you picked it up. It does, yeah. Well, I'm leaving California. And I'm coming home. Make up for the time I owe ya. Now that all my work is done, and I pray that you will take me. I tried to be the man I was, but this town has surely changed me. What a cynic I've become Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm gonna play something and we're gonna do kind of a acoustic duo sort of situation here This is something that Noah and I do quite a bit um, and I'm kind of curious now to see what type of guitar I should be playing alongside him to sort of fill out the sound the best. So, um, interestingly, Jeff is grabbing me a 12 fret parlor guitar, which is not something I typically play, but Ben seems to think that that's going to be what fits best with this duo situation. So we're going to try it out, see what happens. Ain't no use in throwing stones tonight Never felt this way before but I feel it now I feel it now Another year of this I should have known
and I wanted to hear you. I could hear you. You guys are dynamically great. Man, that sounded awesome. Was I not overpowering this thing? That's how I play guitar, acoustic. So that's a small body guitar, but Adirondack. Uh, Super hard, st stiff top, so it'll take a lot. So no, you weren't overpowering it, it sounded great. Tom and the small guitar. Tom and the small guitar. Yeah, no, this thing is, yeah, this is great. <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. All right, you uh, clearing it with your bank or what? <laughs> no, sadly, <laughs> no. There's nothing to clear. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Hopefully uh, you learned a thing or two, because we did. I mean, being able to sit here and not play, but actually listen to the guitars back to back to back like that was incredibly informative. Um, and again, no matter what budget you're in or what type of guitar you're looking for, these are important considerations to make, I think, to find the right guitar. These are the things to listen for. What style of music are you playing? Are you a vocalist? Are you someone who's playing solo acoustic by themselves? And find something that's gonna fit your needs. Huge thanks to Righteous Guitars for having us today. I will link all of their stuff in the description box down below. And also, uh, thanks to Noah for singing. He's got a new single called Only Light I Need that's coming out. Noah, when is Only Light coming out? November 19th, actually right when this video is going live. So I'll have links to all of Noah's stuff, including his Spotify, so you can listen to Only Light I Need, the new single, and uh, pre-save the new album, right? Yeah, well, you can pre-save the new single right now. Um, so yeah, if you just go to my Insta or wherever, really. Yeah, yeah. and hopefully catch us on tour sometime next Man, year. Yeah, trying hard, trying hard. Hopefully sometime in the spring. That would be great. Yeah, awesome. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl, and remember there is no plan B.